It's Sunny and Finn's Wrestling and Video Game Podcast. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 21 of the Sunny and Finn Show. I'm Sunny, and with me, as always, Finn Steele. Hello. Before we start the show today, uh, we've been busy boys since uh, we last recorded our podcast. We have. Uh, we streamed Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Mm hmm. And I just want to thank every single person who's come out to the streams, who's talked to us or subscribed to the channel, um, and just made the streams really fun to play. Yes, um, definitely. Yeah, we really do appreciate it. I know we say it all the time, but um, it's only because it's genuine and we do really mean it. So guys, thank you very much. And uh, we'll be doing much, much more. Yes. We always promise new content and we're starting to deliver on a more regular basis now. So uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Finn, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Good, good. I'm good. I can't believe we're at episode 21. I know, it's been flown by, isn't it? I'll tell you something else that's also unbelievable. What's that? I nailed the introduction. You did it. First, first time. time. Good job. I'm getting much better at this. You are, you are. That's better. We are both getting better as we go on, I think. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Good. So, um, what have you been playing this week? What indeed? Um, man, playing Until Dawn. I've been live streaming that. Um, Thank you everybody for joining us, as we said earlier. Um, and yeah, enjoying that a lot. It's taken me this long to play it. Um, I'm glad, glad I'm doing it on stream, because it's a lot more fun that way. Um, yeah. It's a good game. It's really um, good, yeah. It's, it's uh, like I said, we, we talked about it before we sort of started recording, and I sort of said it's not so much underrated, it's, I think it's underplayed. Yeah, I think so. Um, but it's well worth checking out if you haven't played it yet. I think it might even be on sale at the minute, so check that out. And uh, yeah, play, PlayStation has sales all the time. It does, yeah, it's crazy. It's, I love it. It's like Steam. Um, yeah, I was streaming more tonight, so yeah, more of that would be good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, really good. It, it is okay. really good. I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a cheesy horror story. Exactly. Yeah, it's like a like B B horror movie. It's it is great. exactly that. I mean, it's got a really great cast. Um, you may not if you if you don't watch a lot of TV series, you may not know who half the people are. Yeah, like me. <laughs> but it does have a really great cast of uh, of very talented oh, yeah. actors, um, you know, in the game. So it's, it's well worth checking out. I mean, it's been out for a while now. So, like Finn said, it's probably in the in the sale. I think so. So gory as well. I love it. Yeah. So go check it out. Mm-hmm. It's excellent. Anything else? Um, bits and pieces. Nothing major. Than I think. How about you? Um, nothing really solid. Hmm. Because I haven't had a lot of time. I've been sort of just playing stuff that I can. Get in and out of. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, so I played Godzilla, Godzilla. The, um, last Thursday on the stream. Yep, yep. That was fun. Um, I haven't played it for a while, so that was good to get back into. Good stuff. It's not a great game, but it's fun, and I like it. So not a good game, not a bad game. It's just an average game. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a game. Yeah, it's the game. Yeah. Um, played some more WWE 2K16 on career mode. Uh, yep. I can't win the ch- the NXT title for the life of me. I can't. Yeah, it's weird that it's weird that they set that up. It's rubbish. This yeah. one is. They, it needs to change. The career mode needs to change next year. Yeah, I think it may be into it myself. I think I got won the championship either. Yeah, I'm going to give up. To be honest, I think if I don't <laughs> win it, sort of in because I've been playing for eight hours now. Yeah. So if I, if I don't win it soon, I'm just going. What the hell's? The, why am I? What am I doing here? Because exactly. like, all the trophies are for winning the championships and being promoted to Raw and winning the other championships on Raw. Yeah. Well, if I'm not going to win even win the NXT Championship, what chance do I have? Exactly, yeah. I'm not going to spend 40 hours chasing Kevin Owens around. <laughs> yeah. Very so, strange. And uh, I finally got a bit of time uh, on Sunday. Uh, so I spent a few hours playing Red Dead Redemption on Xbox One. Nice. Obviously, we, we talked about it last week, how it was coming to backwards compatibility. Mm-hmm. And I said I wasn't going to buy it. But it was on the Xbox Live sale for like six pound twenty four. Oh, okay. So there was no way I was going to pass it up. <laughs> yeah. Plus yeah. you get the Undead Nightmare DLC with it. Oh, for sweet. That. That's a really good deal too, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I've been playing that, and it, it tell you what, it stands up so well. Oh yeah, I bet. I mean, the game is six years old now. I think so. Yeah, two thousand ten. I think it came out. Yeah. And and it's great. It's it. I think I underappreciated it before. Yeah, I love it. Redemption. Um, Definitely one of my favourite games in that generation of games. Mm. Um, so yeah, definitely. Awesome. So uh, I'm enjoying that and I'm going to keep playing that. I think that's the one I'm going to sort of spend more time with. Yeah, awesome. So yeah, Sequel that's pretty games. much all I've been playing. Yeah, cool. So this week uh, we've got a f- more wrestling news than gaming news to talk about. It's been a very yeah. dry week for gaming news. Yeah, a little bit after, like the weeks after E3. Yeah, uh, I mean, 
If one blows a load early. All I literally have is uh, me running Batman down again. Cool. <laughs> so, um, oh, before we start, actually, uh, once I mentioned, um, last last couple of weeks you've been saying that Last Guardian wasn't going to review well, you predicted. Yeah. Uh, and I think it is going to review well. Do we care to make a bet? Yeah, let's make a bet. I'm cool. certain it's not going to review well. Okay. Um, so, for those uh, new listeners, uh, we have some running bets, uh, on ongoing bets at the minute. Um, we do one every pay per view. Uh, we go our predictions, and whoever gets the most yep. uh, right gets the point. And by the end of the year, something will happen regarding that. We yeah, we don't know what. Yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll figure that out. out. We'll get there. Uh, yeah, because that'll be our year anniversary by then. It will. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be a momentous occasion. Absolutely. <laughs> so right now, the, the running table is Sunny with four points, me with three points, and special guests with one point. Um, there we go. And we also have two ongoing bets. One is. Uh, I predicted that Shemu HD collection will be announced by the end of the year. Uh, Sunny said no, obviously. Um, yeah, that is that that is not coming in at all. Yeah, There's it's no gonna way it's happening. It. Tokyo Game Show, you can announce. <laughs> Tokyo Game Show. Yeah, Japan. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I thought I thought Tokyo was in France this whole time. <laughs> oh, you know, let's end every day. <laughs> every day is a school day. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, and also, uh, Sunny has predicted that Cena will turn heel. Um, was that a SummerSlam? Or just in, in just, the year. Um, well, I did say SummerSlam, but it could happen before. Okay, it we'll might we'll, not happen at all, but you we'll know, say, I have we'll, predicted it's going to happen. We'll say that by the end of the year as well. Okay. To uh, make it fair. I'm assuming our Nathan Drake uh, bet is included in the score currently. Yes. Um, so you had a bet on whether or not Nathan Drake would die at the end of Uncharted 4. Uh, I won't say who won, just, because, just in case anyone listening to this hasn't played it yet. No. If you um, haven't played it now, yeah, what right. <laughs> what have you been doing? It's been out for like this was the biggest PlayStation Four game this year. Yeah, seriously. Nathan Drake uh, does not die at the end of Uncharted Four. Fair play. Uh, so I won the bet. You did. Yeah, you got a point for that. Well done. We'll talk about Uncharted and Naughty Dog in general in a couple of weeks' time. I think. Yeah, sure. Um, but Nathan Drake does not die. He doesn't. He lives yeah. against all odds, d- d- despite the multiple. Near deaths he had, he somehow got out alive. I just <laughs> thought there was no way he was going to die. Yeah, it makes sense. Once I got into the top of the story, I was like, yeah, there's no way he's going to die. <laughs> no. There's no way. But, you know, is it really a spoiler? Probably not. Just go and play the game. If you haven't, it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's very good. Worth all the plaudits that it's had. It's super. Absolutely. Um, right, as for The Last Guardian, um, I predict it will get an 80 or above Metacritic average. Um We'll give it two weeks after it's been released uh, so we get all the reviews can come in. Okay. Um, so we say 79 and under, you win, 80 or above, I win. Yeah. Does that sound fair? Okay. I That's like good. That. that sounds good. Cool. Um, to be honest, I feel the same with No Man's Sky. Uh, yeah, No Man's Sky, I agree, could could go uh, a bit. Because people are expecting a life-changing experience here and I'm afraid they're not going to get it. Yeah, I don't know. It's, mm, it's a mystery. It, yeah, it really is. Um, it went gold this week. Yeah, that's all. So the game's ready to be released. It's ready to be shipped. I saw um, some like stats of I think it was last week actually. Lots of stats of like the chances of actually meeting another person and meet actually like finding a planet with life on it. And it's like it's such a tiny, tiny percentage. Mm-hmm. It's like what, what is there to do in a game? Like average players are just going. Kind of See, people have been kicking off about the install size. It's literally like it's less than seven gig, yeah. and that's mostly the soundtrack. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. Because obviously this is a, a game that's randomly generated. Mm. So. So how does that work within, like, if everyone's playing in the same universe, how does a random generation work? I guess first I suppose you find a planet, get a generation, and it's just there for people to find in their game, I guess? I guess so. I mean, I'm going to guess maybe there's some cloud-based information that's going to be, maybe. you know, used here. Yeah. I mean, who say. isn't connected to the internet now? Oh, well, yeah, that's And it. using their PlayStation 4 online. Yeah. Even if you don't have PlayStation Plus, I mean, you must have your PS4 connected to the internet. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah I mean I don't know what's going to happen with No Man's Sky I'm interested to see what happens and I hope it's good I yeah, just can't see it no I don't think it will so yeah uh, The Last Guardian um, when is it out two months uh, October I believe oh okay so three months I away I think so alright okay um, gaming news yes uh, Batman Arkham Return to Arkham mm-hmm. um, obviously it got delayed and I predicted that it was never going to happen yeah, I agree. Okay. They've came out uh, this week, literally a couple of days back, and said that um, don't expect it until November at the very earliest. Right, okay. So, never then. 
<laughs> I mean, this the, this game is in trouble. Yeah. Already. I mean, it's like, don't announce it <laughs> and say it's July. Yeah. And then it's so crap that you can't even promise it by Christmas, like nearly. Yeah, that's bizarre. Um, if it's not coming out by Christmas, it's never coming out. No, I agree. That, not that must, happening. There must have been some major technical problem with it. That's the only thing I can think of. The there, were, there were some screenshots leaks actually of like comparison shots between the original and mm. the remaster and the remaster that looked worse. Like, yeah, it does, worse. yeah. So, the problem is know. these are these are gorgeous looking games. Oh, yeah. Like the Arkham um, Arkham Asylum and um, Arkham City. Yeah, yeah. It's They're all just, up now. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so why not just port it? Yeah, exactly. Just port the game. I mean, Red Dead Redemption being released on Xbox One has proved that you don't need to spruce these games up. No, yeah. The games still look great. Just port the game, give it us to play on our new consoles, just put it on the fucking PlayStation Store for <laughs> us to download. I'll download the PS3 version, I don't care. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I don't know, this game's yeah. never coming anyway. Yeah. It, they, they are all on PlayStation now if you are rich enough to subscribe to it. <laughs> yes, yes, Including yes. Arkham Origins as well. Yeah, yeah. So, Goodness. you can go and play them all because you're never going to get to play them on your PS4 yeah. otherwise. Pretty much. It's ridiculous. It's that I mean, they're trying to um, make put the whole game into a new engine. Yep. Which is just a which stupid is, idea. Yeah, they think we're doing something I think it's, uh, Unreal Four. Yeah. Um, if you're yeah, ill-equipped to do it, and you know, if you, if you if you know you can do it, and you think it's going to be great, fine. You know, bring it out, announce a release date, great. Mm. But don't announce a release date if you're not one hundred percent certain that you can actually do this. Yeah. Seriously. This is the last time I'm going to mention Batman Arkham Collection on this podcast. (laughs) Because I think for the last three weeks, I've sort of just lost my mind over it. (laughs) So um, I'm done with it now. Until a release date is announced, if that day ever comes, that's the next time I'll talk about it. Right, fair enough. (laughs) I'll do that. Um, What have you got? Because, I mean, that's literally all I have, gaming news-wise. Because I've been been sort of keeping my ear to the ground, uh, reading the internet over the last week or so, and, and it's been... Littered with one thing and one thing only, but that's the one thing that it has been littered with. I will get to when you have said what I think you're going to say. Right. So I have more Overwatch news. Beep, 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 beep. You're my favourite Overwatch player. <laughs> Thank you. In fact, you're the only other human that I know that <laughs> plays Overwatch. Fair enough. <laughs> Hooray me. Um, so yeah, there's been a few uh, major things happening going on. Um, we have some a big patch coming. I'm trying to click on my link, but it's not working. Uh, there we go. Technical difficulties. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, can have bring some, bring some uh, big changes to certain characters, such as Mercy, Zenyatta, Diva, and... Uh, I think that's it. Um, Diva's my favourite character. Diva's very good. I like Diva a lot. Um, so, Diva, uh, her defence matrix, again, they... Uh, uh, I forgot to say. <laughs> is that an ad <laughs> playing in the background? Yeah, that is an ad playing in the background. <laughs> Screw you, GameSpot. The bloody ads. See, this is why I mute my shit. I yeah, don't, that's a good I, I don't know why I didn't do that, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, mute it now. There you go. Right, so her defense matrix is getting a uh, overhaul. Uh, before, I had like a really long cooldown. It only lasted like a few seconds. Um, but the cooldown's getting reduced from 10 seconds down to 1 second. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, it's going to be more like a Reinhardt shield where you hold the button down and it brings it up and you can have it for, I think it's 10 seconds. And then it had six, and when you let it go, it starts charging up again. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I think Reinhard Shield is it blocks all damage. Uh, I haven't played it in so long. Yeah, it's really good. I've been playing it quite a bit. Uh, well, not recently, but I'll get to that. Uh, what's well, ultimate is changing? Um, it costs fifteen percent less uh, time to uh, you know get hundred percent, and uh, explosion. <coughs> excuse me, can't talk. Her explosion uh, <laughs> takes only three seconds to to uh, explode. Uh, maybe before it took four seconds. That's uh, every second. Also, you are literally just saying numbers right now. I am saying numbers. Sorry. Uh, also, she didn't get hurt by her own explosion anymore, so that's cool. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, as for Mercy, her damage boost is getting a 50% bump. It was 30% before, and now it's uh, 50%. Wait, it was what before? Uh, it was originally 30%. So, so you, and it's getting a 30% bump? Uh, no, th- it was, sorry. It was 30% before, so you get a 30% damage increase. Now you get a 50% damage increase. If Carol Vorderman <laughs> listens to this podcast, <laughs> we are fucked. I hope what's players understand what I'm saying. Hopefully. Okay. I, I, I do play Overwatch. I haven't played it in a long time. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm being left behind. Now competitive players out. Uh, yeah. Don't want to competitive play just yet. Just wait. Okay. Wait until next month. Okay. Um, uh, also, you can now move while using her ultimate, which is the thing, I guess. 
Um, also Zenyatta is getting a big overhaul, he gets 50% uh, more shield, or 50%, 50 more shield, or 50%, so it goes up from 150 health to 200. Numbers, numbers, numbers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also his orbs move faster, so he can heal people quicker. Uh, and his uh, ultimate now makes him move faster, and does heal a lot more damage. Uh, and yeah, that's it for numbers. Um, there's also a new character announced, which is available now on PC as like public test realm. Mm. Um, called Anna. She's so like a support sniper. She so heals people by shooting them in the face, and she can also damage people by shooting them in the face. Uh, so she shoots people in the face. She does. Yes. Okay. Sounds like a solid character. I like her. <laughs> Absolutely. Already, I haven't even played with her. <laughs> she also has got like a sleep dart, so you can jump interrupt people's like ultimates, uh, which is very cool. Okay. Looks like a grenade thing, which heals people and hurts enemies. I appreciate the grenade gesture you just did there. Yeah, they're like throwing a grenade gesture. Yeah. Because <laughs> you can't see yeah. us, obviously. Uh, yeah, it's all for nothing. Finn's, uh, Finn's doing the actions. So he, <laughs> yeah. he threw an air grenade at me. Grenade. Um, <sighs> also, a big change to come into competitive, which is you can only have one certain char- type of character on the team. Uh, so you've got a multiple like, traces or mercies. So you've got to mix it up. Yeah, you've got to mix okay. it up. Okay, that's good. That is a good thing. That is a very good thing, yes. No more full teams with Shorby on, just with a turret. Good. That's a very good thing. <laughs> it is a very good thing. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Bunch of numbers, uh, new character, and uh, competitive. Excellent. Yeah. That's right now. Competitive sucks, no bother. But it'll get better. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> gaming news is very, very slow at the minute. It is. Let's lay Overwatch. But, something has happened this week. Just now. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. I know it's and uh, we talked about it last week, and we sort of dismissed it. Saying that, ah, uh, it's going to be okay, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. But it's taken over the fucking world, Finn. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It Pokemon has. Go has been released, and the world has gone crazy. Yeah, everyone's a Pokemon trainer now. <laughs> Literally everybody. Yeah. And social media is filled with it. The world is filled with it. Everywhere, you know, the news is filled with it. <laughs> Yeah, Even like yeah. BBC News tweeted today that they were waiting outside Downing Street and there was a fucking Pikachu there. <laughs> awesome. Um, also, Tyler Breeze has been playing it. There was a, like a WWE.com exclusive interview thing with uh, Tyler Breeze with Mandango. Even Vince know. McMahon on his Twitter yesterday saying, I don't care who you are, get out of my weight room. <laughs> and there was a Pokemon in there. <laughs> awesome. It's just crazy. It's like, it's t- I never imagined it was going to be this big. Yeah. Like, we were like, yeah, it'd be fine. I mean, it might last as long as me, Tomo, did on our phones. Yeah, seriously. But, uh. And here I am, walking to the bus station in the morning, and I'm catching, like, I'm catching Pokemon on the way to work. <laughs> That's all. I haven't taken it outside yet. I need to. Um. What do you mean? Because I've just had it in my house. I've called the Bulbasaur, and it was like, that was it. Was like, uh, you got a what? A Bulbasaur? Yeah. Oh, is that you, the, the first Pokemon that they gave you? Yeah, pretty much. Alright, so, I've, I've been playing it. Cool. Okay, and I'm enjoying it a lot. It's, I don't know, it's different. It's not like anything I've really ever played before. Yeah. But like you've taken the basic Pokemon concept and given it to people in their hands. Pretty much. It's uh, it's very cool. I like the like different teams and you get like, gyms and all that kind of stuff. It's crazy. You have to be level five to be able to uh, join a team. Oh, right. I need to know their levels, too, honestly. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, here's my character here. I'm, uh, all right. I think a very good GPS in this room. So um, I think a GPS at all. Fair enough. <laughs> um, I'm level five at the minute, so I have joined, um, I'll tell you, Team Mystic. Nice. Um, but yeah, I've been, I've, been, I've been catching Pokemon all over the place. Awesome. I, I like the way it works because, you know, like you can only catch certain Pokemon in certain environments. So I caught a Magikarp by a river. Nice. That's awesome. Okay. How did they know I'm in the river? It's magic. GPS. Because it's, it's, you use Google Maps. Yeah. yeah that's right. Okay. So, um, and it's, it's cool. It's, I don't know. It's just... It's taken over the world. How long it will last, I don't know. Yeah, seriously. They broke in your house and disappointed. Yeah, it sucks. Like, <laughs> this room, anyway. Like Anywhere else in the house is fine. But this room is like an afterthought for GPS. <laughs> and phone signal in general, to be honest. Yeah. Also, I'm a girl. There we go. There you go. <laughs> well, I've got... I'm uh, a Pokemon trainer. I've got 54 Pokemon. Nice. I have one. Most of them are the same. Like, a lot of Rattatas. Uh, I guess I've got a ton of Pidgeys. Nice. But like, with each one of those you <laughs> collect... Like you get what they what are called candies. Oh yeah, and you can evolve. Like if you've got one that's like a, a better uh, combat power than another one, you can just use your candies and 
evolved that one. Oh yeah, I saw that one there actually. So yeah. it's very very cool. Um, I so much fun to play. I haven't battled a, a, a gym yet. I haven't battled to uh, try and take control of a gym. Oh yeah. But it's fun and it makes walking slightly more interesting than it normally does. My cows are going nuts. What's going nuts? <laughs> this is running around all in circles, going nuts. What your character? Yeah. Probably doesn't know where the fuck it is. <laughs> Probably. But I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a land where GPS doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, I seriously need to think about what's think about sight. That's my problem. I just <laughs> want to get a dog, so I've got an excuse to go out walking. <laughs> yeah, true. But um, yeah, it's fantastic. Obviously, there's been a bit of hate for it. The cool kids yeah. who uh, see that something is popular and dismiss it straight away as um, shit or something like that. You know, oh, you know. You yeah, should Pokemon, be sh- I don't oh, Pokemon, God, Pokemon how old are you, 10? 10 years and all this yeah. sort of stuff. And it's like, I hate I <laughs> that we're living in this, well, this culture of, um, I don't like something, and if you like that thing, you are wrong. Yeah, seriously. Look, if you don't like something, then don't fucking play it. Yeah. It's not, for- it's not, it's not like the U2 album, they're not forcing it onto your phone. <laughs> What's that? The U2 album? Like when um, YouTube brought um, an album out, uh, I think it was, might have been exclusive to Apple Music a year or so ago. Oh, right, okay. And, like they just gave it you and it automatically downloaded to your iPhone if you had one. That's <laughs> stupid. But, it, I, you I know, like, it's I just... I don't like YouTube, with you? Yeah, no one does <laughs> anymore. Yeah. But it's like, here, here's our album. You will you will definitely have it, regardless. Yeah, that's dumb. Yeah, it's stupid. But it's... look, if you don't like Pokemon Go, and the chances are if you listen to our show, you probably do. Yep. Then, you know... If you don't like it, don't download it. Mute the hashtag on Twitter. Hide notifications for it on Facebook. Or don't comment on it if you've got nothing nice to say about it. Exactly. It's just why, why, why be a dick? Yeah. There's loads of things <laughs> I don't like that I see people talking about daily. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't talk about it. No, yeah, same. My sports. I think sport related. <laughs> I think one day and say, ah, oh, sports sucks, football's an idiot. Blah. Exactly, yeah. You, I mean, you, you follow me on Twitter. And most of my tweets are about football. Exactly, yeah. And But you know, you're not going... Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, tweeting about football all the time? Yeah, football know. sucks. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, yeah, I don't get it. I just don't get people. This is this hate culture at the minute of you know I'm right, you're wrong. Yeah, sort of thing. It's pathetic. It is. It's part of the reason I hate the internet. Yeah, same. Anyway, we don't hate the internet. But you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't hate the internet, <laughs> but I hate some of the things that go on on the internet. Yeah, I hate this culture of hate. Yeah, the culture of hate. It's yeah, around me. just. Everyone do your own thing and enjoy the things that you enjoy. Exactly. Don't worry about whether people enjoy the same things or not. Just, yeah. just enjoy what you enjoy and don't worry about it. Exactly. Let people have the fun. Yeah. Right. Loads of wrestling stuff to talk about. But Finn, let's yes. talk about the final deletion first. <laughs> okay. We never talk about TNA on this show unless we're running it down. <laughs> Pretty much. But uh, we both watched the final deletion this week. We did. If you don't know what it is... And if you don't know what it is and listen to this podcast, you probably shouldn't listen to this podcast. (laughs) Um, Uh Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy have been embroiled in a very strange feud. The strangest of feuds. You know, the whole... Any any reason I mean. It's produced some hilarious videos, some hilarious vignettes. Um, Yeah. I can't tell if it's like intentionally bad or not. It has to be. It it has to be. be. Surely it has to be. Oh my God. (laughs) Um... But either way, it's it's been very amusing. It has. The whole Brother Nero <laughs> thing. and Brother Nero. Brother Nero. You've watched it. What did you think to it? Oh, it was bizarre. <laughs> so the final deletion... Um, sorry, I jumped, jumped straight ahead. Um, right. It's basically... Um, this feud has been called... You know, the culmination of this feud between Matt and Jeff Hardy. Culmination. Culmination. It's a good word. It is. <laughs> um, and it's led to this... It wasn't in the TNA arena. Uh, it was in. It was took place at Matt Hardy's house. Yeah. So. Yeah. What did you think to it? Very strange. Um, very strange. Watching wrestling match with like no crowd interaction or reaction at all. Mm. Um, it's like in the dark at night in like Matt Hardy's backyard. <laughs> um, Jeff jumped out of a tree at one point. He's still doing the like motions like ah uh, motion, but nothing yet because there's no crowd. So why why? <laughs> but I guess it's been filmed so that's that um, yeah it started off as a normal wrestling match um, there were ladders involved um, then it kind of went off the walls um, <laughs> when the water, then Matt Hardy brought out some fireworks and started shooting them at Jeff <laughs> and Jeff was like blocking, blocking him with a trash can lid 
And then... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then Matt Hardy walks around the ring to get Jeff Hardy and Jeff Hardy had a firework he's like oh shit that's right oh shit and, pew, 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 pew. and he's yeah. running away and it's a dilapidated boat at one point and just Matt Hardy's running after it a dilapidated boat and hit behind it it was glorious uh, and then oh god oh, I forgot my bloody um, then so Matt Hardy had him in a chokehold they fell into like the river um, and then that, we thought that was it Matt Hardy was done or Jeff Hardy was done but then Jeff rose up as Willow Willow thank you uh, which I didn't even know was a thing until after the match and I was like Who the, what the hell is this thing yeah <laughs> and then there's this, guard, this gardener I think Matt Hardy's gardener or I, I know I know what it is I don't know if it's like his servant or Possibly servant, his yeah. butler or something weird I, I don't even know yeah he got, Senior Benjamin is it something like that <laughs> something like that so, yeah and then yeah he was dressed as so yeah they went off screen and then <laughs> Matt Hardy found um, Willow's body Covered in for the three count, took off the mask, and it was the gardener. Somehow, of course, got, it was. Yeah, somehow Jeff got off his costume off and put it on the gardener. Uh, in that sort of space of time, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it just carried on, carried on, going more and more nonsense. And then uh, Jeff followed the thing that was on fire, and Matt Hardy got a three count, and that was the end of the match. And I was like, Brother what? Nero has <laughs> now been deleted. Yeah, deleted. So you've only um, you've only touched on the wrestling aspect of this, pretty much. But like before the wrestling match, yeah, there was a, a bit where sort of there was like a birthday party for Matt's oh, child yeah. Maxwell, I think the the child's name is. Maxwell, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> this is such a stupid thing. It is. And then it's sort of like it cuts to Jeff's house, and Jeff's like gardening, I think. <laughs> He's like cutting weird shapes into his grass. Yeah. Like, uh, like the Hardy thing. Boys symbols and weird things like this. Yeah. Um, and then he goes into his house and plays guitar. <laughs> and then these drones fly into <laughs> Jeff Hardy's house yeah. and he's batting them away with his guitar. <laughs> and then like one of them starts talking and then you, you it cuts to it and it's like Matt Hardy's face. Yeah. Like, like, a, hologram. Um, like a hologram of Matt Hardy talking to <laughs> Jeff Hardy. Yeah. And at this point I was like, what on earth is... I mean, this was batshit before it even got to the final division. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. And then he's got to it now, and he's like, what on earth is going on? Yeah. And then, for some reason, Matt Hardy's at Jeff Hardy's house sitting on his uh, sit-down lawnmower <laughs> and like laughing maniacally while ruining Jeff's perfect gardening. Yeah. And this is even before the match. <laughs> That's oh. so crazy. Oh, how, how, how did they even come up with this nonsense? What about yeah. the part where Matt Hardy starts playing violin? Oh yeah, he's used violin to summon Jeff Hardy. It like was amazing. Time, it? <laughs> it was crazy. Like, what? And that referee turned up in his car and was like, "Are you uh, a licensed official?" And it's oh my god. Yeah, that referee just like, "What the hell? What's going on?" But as crazy as it was, and as ridiculous as it was, and as bad as it was, it did get a lot of coverage for TNA. It really did. Yeah. More- uh, Probably the most popular thing TNA's ever done. I think it, TNA did numbers that it hasn't done for a long, long time. Unsurprised. Just off buzz for this one insane... Yeah. I mean, I know wrestling is scripted and it's fake and it, it is what it is, right? Of course. But is there limits to it? I mean, I know Lucha Underground is doing some pretty far oh, yeah. out there stuff and it really is, but... At least they have actual wrestling matches. This <laughs> is... This is out there. Yeah, seriously. But, you know, it, it was fun. Yeah, it was. If, if it was nothing laugh. else, it was fun. Yeah, maybe laugh, maybe very confused. And <laughs> it's it's brought attention to TNA. Yeah. They can't do this often. I mean, that you know, there's, they, you know, they can't exactly do this. This can't be a monthly thing. No. This has to end and it has to end now. They've yeah. done it. That's it. It's over. I think there'll be one more. You honest. think there will? Probably. Because it's like, it's like a trilogy, isn't it? You got Jeff won one, Matt won one. Now it's going to be one more, I think. Okay. Yeah. But you know this is this this kind of thing like the final deletion. It isn't something they can no. sort of. I don't think so. Do like a, they can't do a pay per view based around it. It'd be, it'd be stupid. Yeah. Um, yeah, you look really got old past. Can TNA take this sort of direction going forward? Do you think? Uh, no, <laughs> I think this is like the dying breaths of TNA. To be honest with you. Really? Yeah. That's doing crazy stuff. I'm sure it might work short term, but long term, I don't think they can hold on to it. So you don't think that their whole show could be based around ideas like this? I don't think so. Okay. I think it would get old really fast. I think so. Um, but, like, we, we got we got a laugh out of it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It could be wrong. It could make TNA get bigger and better. And 
Hey, I hope it does because yeah. competition is what's needed. Absolutely. And if TNA can provide the competition, so be it. We don't yeah. watch it ourselves mainly because it isn't very good a lot of the time. Yeah. But you know, this God is watching. Yeah, we did. We yeah. didn't watch the whole show. Obviously, we watched the seventeen-minute clip of the final deletion on yeah. YouTube. But what's, what's like the first part of the TNA? That episode is like Maria Maria Canellis coming out, seeing some random crazy stuff. I don't know. Didn't know what's going on. Yeah, her, yet, uh, her husband's in it now, Mike Bennett. Oh, that's what that was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think what he's got. The Miracle. That was it. The Miracle. That's something. Yeah, about. Mike Bennett. Yeah. Good wrestler. Yeah. Um, suits TNA, but TNA needs to be better. Yeah, seriously. Enough of TNA. Yes. <laughs> Let's move on to Raw. Okay. Okay. Um, what did you think to Raw this week? I mean, I thought it was okay. It, well, yeah, it was okay. Better than last week, I think. Um, the the final deletion was better than last week. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, yeah, started off with a battle royal to uh, determine the number one contender for the Intercontinental title. Wait, are we going to skim through what we did like we did last week? Pick out the good parts of Raw yeah, and then talk much. about the other bits of Raw? Yeah, we'll just skip we'll just the highlights. Okay, let me bring up the quick Raw resource again. Okay. And we'll mow through it. Sounds good. It was, I thought it was a, I mean, it was a, it, it, it was better this week than it has been for, um, you know, a lot of other weeks. Yeah. It was okay. What do you think of the Impact World at the start? Um, I thought it was fine. I thought it was very battle royally, whereas yeah. it lost the crowd's interest very quick. <laughs> yeah. Now, I thought it was a bit of a cluster. It was, but it's that's the thing with battle royals. They don't have this. They're not. They don't have the same excitement that they used to back in the day. No. Um, because although it did mean something, no one really cared about it. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, until the end. Yeah. So, um, Darren Young, who mm-hmm. didn't get an entrance. Nope. But uh, was you know in the match they kept cutting to Bob Ackland outside the ring. He won a number one contender battle royal, to fight the Miz mm-hmm. at Battleground for the Intercontinental Championship. He did. Um, I thought it's weird that he didn't really do anything in the match other than he like, eliminated one person. But no, Yeah, no. and he didn't even he didn't even win the match, really. He no, was he sort didn't. of sitting in the ring while the match ended. Yeah, um, very weird. But it's going to lead to bigger... Th- I think there's more to this than what we're seeing now. Yeah, I think he needs to win the title. Otherwise, it was... Oh, 100% he needs to. Yeah. I did smile when he won it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pleased with him. Um, because I thought it was, I thought it was cool that he won it, and I, yeah. I like, and I was surprised by the reaction that the crowd gave him. Yeah, it was a positive reaction. Because these vignettes have been utter garbage. Really <laughs> garbage. I mean, I don't know what Americans think of these <laughs> vignettes. I mean, maybe yeah. they love them. I don't know, but maybe you know, we don't love them. No. They've been fucking terrible, and they yeah. have. But you know, I like Devin Young. He's a, he's not the best wrestler, but he's. I don't know. We got something, I guess. He has, and I like Bob Backlund as well. Yeah, Bob Backlund. I think it, maybe this, person, but it's, this could be like a cult cool. thing. Like could people, be. people could be, you know, just rally behind him because it's a fun thing to do. Yeah. Um, but I liked, I liked that he won. Yeah, I like that one. It's, a, it's a good move forward. It's a picture of a new uh, guy to have around for the IT title picture. Yeah. And yeah, I'm, I'm pleased. Yeah, me too. A um, couple of other crappy matches on Raw. Sheamus beat Zack Ryder. Yeah, Zack Ryder had new music as well. Uh, same lyrics, same dumb lyrics, but more, I don't know, more rocky sounding music. Rocky as in guitars or guitars, rocky yeah. as in Rocky Balboa? <laughs> Rocky's in guitars, yeah. Okay. Uh, it was alright, but I don't know. What a pointless match. Pretty pointless. Um, this all came from Zack Ryder challenging Rusev um, uh, backstage and then Seamus beat, like, threw him to the floor and yeah. who cares, right? Yeah, Rusev was like uh, right off the match as well, saying he accepts your match. Ah, yeah, like the, yes, uh, the, the accolade. Accolade, thank you. Do you want to call the accolade? That's uh... a JBL and <laughs> Farouk. Yeah, exactly. The accolade. Um, I think it's funny that his Farouk's ring name was Farouk, but now they just call him Ron Simmons. Oh yeah, weird. Yeah, um, Tyler Breeze and Fandango. I like these guys. I've warmed to them. Okay. That, 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 there's a funny thing on WWE.com. The other thing. Uh, yeah, go watch it. Okay. Uh, they beat the Lucha Dragons. Yep. Uh, Kalisto E. Sin Cara. Yep. Because that's what Lillian Garcia says. Yep, because it's Spanish. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, wow, I mean, Kalisto and Sin Cara, their careers have taken a turn. Yeah, it's a shame. Unless, you know, they really are going to push Breeze and Fandango. Totally. 
I like him. Yeah, sure. I like him. No one else does, but I like him. Kevin Owens beat Cesaro in a great match. It was a very good match, yeah. Very, very good match. Uh, Kevin Owens had a new kind of finisher dealy. Yeah, a lot. Um, Tess used to do that finishing move. Oh, yeah. So it's like, it's like a torture good. rack into a spinning net breaker. Yeah. Uh, which I have a lot of time for. I actually like the move. Yeah, it's cool. I thought it was weird that he finished the match with that, actually. Mm. Um, because, mainly because I wasn't expecting it. Because people are so used to seeing him win with the pop up power bomb. Yeah. I don't think the pop-up power bomb's going to go anywhere. It needs like an added, like, extra cool move you can do. Yeah, sure. But this. it was a really good match. Cesaro is outstanding. He really is. Like, he keeps... It's like he keeps, you know, changing up his style week in, week out. Yeah, yeah. Like, this week he did, like, a, a somersault plancher off the a ring apron to the outside to Owens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, he keeps doing that springboard elbow drop, which he just executes with perfection every single it's week. Amazing, yeah. He's truly outstanding. I hope he gets the recognition and the push he deserves after this brand split. Yeah, me too. Uh, Tyus O'Neill beat Heath Slater in another Nothing why much. bother match. Yeah. And Enzo and Big Cass beat Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows of the club, mm. which was a good match. It was good. I think the club would have won it, personally. It was, it was via DQ, because uh, AJ yeah, Styles interrupted, yeah. so it, yeah. they didn't go over clean. Yeah, that's fine. And then after the match, there was a beat down, and, uh, oh, Cena's not here, Cena's not here. Uh, Cena is surprise. here. He was there. Yeah. Shocking. Uh, oh my god. So Cena came down. Didn't really do a lot actually. He wasn't really involved in that beatdown mm-hmm. and uh, scaring away of the club very much. He like, I think he did a couple of air punches <laughs> and then sort of just took his top off and celebrated and. Look at where I am. Yay. Yeah. Look at me. I'm John Cena. I'm going to turn heel soon. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and Sasha Banks beat Dana Brooke via submission. Yeah, that was fine. It was fine. Dana Brooke. I feel sorry for her. I know I say this every week, but yeah. I do. She's been brought up too early. Just, um, just lacking she know. never looked this bad in NXT and that's what I, I can't it's, understand it's weird maybe it's pressure who knows maybe I don't know maybe we look at NXT and you know everything's cool and we just love NXT <laughs> maybe. because it's NXT yeah. and Dana Brooke comes up and we're like uh, mm. okay <laughs> either way um, I love seeing Sasha Banks involved in the uh, women's title picture yeah. uh, she needs to win it and I think she will yeah. um, she's not going to win it at Battleground no? Because um, oh, there's yeah. going to be a tag team match, which was announced on SmackDown. We'll skim through the SmackDown results as well, why not? Sure. Uh, but they've announced that it's going to be Sasha Banks and a mystery partner Ooh. Ooh. against um, Dana Brooke and Charlotte. Cool. Can I just say that I think Charlotte's mic skills are pretty crap? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's not the best uh, on the mic, I guess. Not the best actor, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I mean, I used to really like Charlotte, but oh, this God. title run has, has brought the worst out of Yeah. The she's worst very, out of her. She's a very skilled wrestler. Yeah. It's just like the bits in between are kind of lacking a bit, I think. Extremely talented, but she was fine before, but this Ric Flair thing has really turned the crowd against her. I know she's gonna, I know she's a heel anyway, and yeah. I get that. I think it might be fun she's like trying to play a character rather than just you know, being herself. Yeah. Which she was in this team, I guess. She wears Sasha Banks is... She's been the boss for oh, yeah. she's a long, long time. Exactly. Whether yeah. face or heel or whatever. She's she's played that character and she's perfected it and she's that now and that's it. And that'll that's never it. change though, I don't think. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, then, after all of this, after these... Um, so, two good matches there. Enzo and Cass and Kevin Owens. Yeah. And Daniel McCall was winning, winning the, the more contender match was cool as well. That's cool. Um, there was some... Uh, a funny bit with Seth Rollins... Yep. where he did the Rollins report which I thought was very funny Yeah, where he like he edited uh, an old interview of Roman Reigns yeah. into him talking to him in a real in a, a sit down in, in a sit down interview which I thought was very funny it was very cool yeah I usually I don't that. buy into crap like that but yeah. I, it did make me laugh a lot yeah that's so good they're um, really running Reigns into the ground at the minute they are seriously. they're making their feelings known <laughs> poor Roman no. Poor stupid idiot Roman. Poor stupid idiot Roman. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, I, th- I find it quite interesting. I think Vince is very openly pissed off and he wants people to know that he is openly pissed off. Yeah. Um, I still think he'll be part of the main event pitch when he comes back. Yeah. I think at least for now. Yeah, we'll see, I guess. They'll do this Road to Redemption storyline <laughs> that they've got planned yeah. and that'll run for some time. But I don't... I, th- I think he'll be around the main event picture on whichever brand. He'll... Be in, but I don't yeah. think he'd be the face of said brand like I think he would have been should he not have been suspended. I think you're right, yeah. I think he needs to turn heel at this point. 
Because who the hell's going to cheer for him? <laughs> oh, I think he has to. I think he yeah. has to turn heel. Um, to be honest, I'd be more interested in seeing Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. Yeah, same. But we're going to get that. We're going to get that next week on Raw for the WWE Championship. Yeah, awesome. This is a... There's a couple of things that have been announced for next week's Raw, which to me is a... Please watch Raw live next week because we know SmackDown's live and you want to watch that and is five hours too wrestling too much? (laughs) We know it is. Yep. But so please come and watch Raw. Here's what we've got next week. Yay. Yay. Um, So yeah, there's a... And then the segment to close out the show was The Boss, Mm -hmm. not Sasha Banks. Nope. Vincent Kennedy. Uh Uh-huh. McMahon. um, Announcing... The commissioners, they very cleverly changed the wording of this. Yeah. Um, leading into the segment. So Vince is announcing the commissioners of Raw and SmackDown. Mm-hmm. And to nobody's surprise. <laughs> yeah. Shane and Stephanie are the commissioners of Raw and SmackDown. Stephanie Raw, Shane, SmackDown. Shocking. But. I believe it. There's a twist. Yes. So because. Shane and Stephanie are probably not going to be on TV every week. Mm. They need somebody to run the show while they're not there. Yeah. So they are both to announce a GM. Yes. Good. And they're going to announce that on the Please Watchers <laughs> episode of Raw next week. Yeah. Now, well, how do you feel about this? Um, I'm pleased. Um, I think the McMahons have gone quite stale these last few weeks. Um, John P is at mixing it up a bit. <clears throat> Hopefully, we'll bring in new faces to like the uh, like uh, managers, I guess, or the whatever you call them. GMs. GMs. Yeah. General, General managers. managers. General managers. Yeah. Hopefully, bring in fresh faces. Um, I don't know who they could get. Uh, they've got any predictions. Well, be? it's funny you should ask. Oh. <laughs> because it looks like WWE has already leaked oh. the SmackDown one. Right. Okay. Accidentally. Okay. In a WWE Alert, it's one the something that they send out apparently. Oh yeah. Um, and the the headline read: "The Yes Movement takes over SmackDown." Oh well, there you go. <laughs> so it looks like Daniel Bryan is going to take over SmackDown. Good. <laughs> now they said the word "game" about a hundred times before they went off air on Raw this week. Oh yeah, it'd be Triple H, wouldn't it? And so Triple H could very well be the one to run Raw. Yeah, that makes sense. Will he? I don't know, but we'll find out next week either way. Um, that's my prediction. I think Triple H will run Raw, and I think it's done that Daniel Bryan. T- Shane tweeted out that, um, you know, they're pleased that an agreement has been reached with the new GM and will announce it on Raw. Uh, I think it's because the internet basically just knows. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And Daniel Bryan, I like Daniel Bryan. I'm yeah, they're great. Around, around wrestling still, so excellent. Yes, Wonderful. very happy about that. Me too. Um, but I thought the segment itself was fine. I think it went on too long. Yep, way too long. Um, that's it, generally do. Vince is losing a step as far as promos go and it's yep, he is very, very telling. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he is old now. I mean, he's getting on. I mean, he's in his 70s so he's not a young fellow anymore. But he's, he's he's losing a step as far as promos go. It's probably because he's not on TV week in, week out. Yeah, probably. That makes sense. Um, I like Shane a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like his connection to the crowd. Can't stand Stephanie, really. She plays the heel character very well but I don't like her. Yeah. Do you have flip between like, I'm a good guy, I'm a bad guy? Uh... Well, this is it. I mean, Vince even sort of you know, took the piss out of Stephanie to a degree. It was like, yeah. what? what is wrong with you? What, who's this Stephanie that's coming out? Oh, I like my brother and all this sort of stuff. But he's right because yeah. one week you like him, the next week you don't. Yeah. And so what are we to, what, what are we to actually believe? It's just a very poor, um, thought process gone into creating this whole storyline, really. Yeah. Seriously. But, um, either way, um, they've gotten around the fact that, uh, they needed to end this Shane and Stephanie thing. Uh, yeah. Thank or goodness. at least get them off TV for a while. Yeah. Uh, but still having them around subconsciously, <laughs> um, I guess, and having a GM do their bidding for them. Yeah. I think that makes sense. So it gives the fans what they want and it ends this sort of Shane and Stephanie being on TV every week sort of thing. Absolutely. Good. Okay. Good stuff. Um, look, before... We missed out the uh, Why's the New Day. Oh... How could I forget it? <laughs> yeah. How? Which was uh, disappointing. Um, they kind of ruined it by having some weird crap filter over it. Some weird, like, the white filter. And, like, shaky cameras and, like, crap editing, like, jump cuts everywhere. Uh, yeah, disappointed. Made about as much sense as Final Deletion did. And, yeah, done. I find it quite interesting that these two things uh, have come out within days of each other. Yeah, I think it might be WWE saying, well, if you can do that, so can we. Here's our crapper version of it. 
Yeah. <laughs> and it was. I mean, it was a crap version of it. Yeah. I thought the final deletion was very tongue in cheek, funny. Yeah, it's funny whether whether it was intentional or not. It was a funny, entertaining thing that happened. Yeah. But it was just it was just like a. It was there's no humour in it. It was just like the, the wife beating up the new day, really, and then we'll, we'll walk around like muddy puddles and. Yeah. yeah so strange. Weird. Bizarre. Um, interestingly, Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy have had a little bit of a Twitter exchange. Oh yeah, um, I saw that. Um, Bray Wyatt saying he was, you know, re- you know, he's always imitated. He's one of the most creative characters in the business today. If it wasn't for him, there'd be no hashtag broken. Yeah, yeah. Matt Hardy responded and has also pinned the final deletion video to his Twitter <laughs> profile and said it looks like the war is now inter promotional. And they've had a bit of a Twitter exchange. Bray Wyatt's bear. Yeah, easily. End of argument. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what I don't like. That. I didn't like that New Day segment either. I thought it was crap. Yeah, I was expecting like at least a little little tab to fun deletion, but nothing. Yeah, nothing at all. They so, could both do better. Oh, they could both do much better. Um, but it's it is really a case of must try harder. Yes. Um, let's have a look at the SmackDown spoilers for this week. Okay. Oh, uh, another thing I wanted to talk about. mm Hmm. Um, before we saw God Smackdown was um, they showed they they obviously mentioned Brock Lesnar being uh, at UFC and winning oh yeah um, thank goodness <laughs> so I'm glad he won yeah uh, he looked incredibly uncomfortable when he said in his press conference that he was booked for SummerSlam to fight Randy Orton <laughs> yeah what was funny before that is they were like here's what Brock Lesnar had to say about fighting Randy Orton he said a bunch of stuff about fighting and then he just went yeah, I'm booked, uh, booked for SummerSlam against Randy Orton. And that was it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Well, she said nothing about it. Yeah. Ugh, I don't know. I, I don't like this already. I, don't, I already don't like Brock Lesnar versus Randy Orton. Yeah. Already. No well, maybe they can build something before then, but I don't know. Weird. Uh, I'm not happy about it already. I yeah. It sucks, but no more. Uh, because Randy Orton isn't going to win, is he? No. Randy Orton, more like Blandy Borton. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, Smackdown live event injured star returns Neville returned yeah, yeah. at a uh, Smackdown event good so he'll be drafted to Smackdown probably yep um, I can't find the Smackdown spoilers so forget that crap no never mind <laughs> we tried we tried um, probably means nothing happened nothing whatever happened yeah literally I'm amazed that they're not on here actually yeah it's, it's recorded built. on a Tuesday isn't it yeah it'll get done straight away yeah Fine. Either way, fuck that. Let's talk about the draft. So the draft is happening next week, thank God, because WWE needs shaking up a bit. Yes, it is. Um, are you excited? Yes. Right, <laughs> good. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, that's, I, I, I like the old uh, draft back in the day. Um, yeah, it was a highlight when they had announced like, a new draft and like superstars getting moved back and forth yeah. between them. Freshen, freshen the product up. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully they won't do what they did um, last time and people would sort of jump from bet- between shows even when they're on assigned to one specific show. Yeah, like that time Cena got dropped to SmackDown and then back to war in the same show. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know. What, what was that? Okay. Yeah, stupid. Stupid. So what, what we are going to do here, we're going to have uh, our own fantasy draft. Yay. Um, we're going to sort of, we're going to pick 20 superstars each. Um, we're going to take turns in picking superstars, mm-hmm. and that's ju- this is just a bit of fun. You can yeah. go and do this on WWE.com, but we didn't want to do that. We wanted to do our own. Yeah, and then we're going. Well, then we'll talk about the the draft in a bit more detail and how we think it's going to go because this is our last show before the draft next week. Then, of course, next week we will talk about the draft itself and what happened. Yeah. Absolutely. So, who wants to go first? Are we rock paper scissors for it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, are we going on three, or are we going one, two, three, then go? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, go. Oh, who wins? Okay, so if he gets to go first, then he gets to pick the first superstar. Hooray. Right. Uh, So I'll be Smackdown. I'll be Shane. Oh, you've picked, right? (laughs) Okay, I'll be Um, Steph. That's fine. um, So my first pick will be WWE Champion, whether that will be uh, Ambrose or one at the time. Uh, So probably Dean Ambrose. No, you can't do that. Yes, I can. You can't, you can't just say the WWE champion. Oh, I'll be I'll Dean Ambrose then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because that, that 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 leaves me with one or the other. All right. Yeah, sure. Right. So you pick Dean Ambrose. Uh huh. Well, this is this is started off really well. <laughs> I see you one then. Okay. 
Um, my first draft pick, mm-hmm. and this is going to be the face of Monday Night Raw. Okay. John Cena. Do, 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 do. Just because <laughs> I'm certain that you would have drafted John Cena. Yep, absolutely. Yep, so <laughs> I've got Cena on Raw. That's fine, you can have Cena. Are you writing this down? I am. Oh, this is good, okay. Uh, right, so my second pick will be Barack Lesnar. When he's right. around. Okay. <laughs> when being. he's around. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he feels like it. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, my second draft pick mm-hmm. is going to be Kevin Owens. Nice. Good pick. Hell yeah, it's a good pick. Right, my second. How many do they do on TV usually? They do like a, they do some, and then they like they just chuck yeah, the rest off to WWE.com, yeah. uh, don't they? Yeah, it's um, like ten or something, ten or fifteen. I'm not sure. Don't know that. They make it up. I'm sure of it. Yeah, it's been so long since they did a draft. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I think it'll be different this year. Hopefully, I hope so. My next pick will be AJ Styles. Ah, oh, nope, good one. None. <laughs> I'd, have, I'd have drafted AJ Styles. Nice. Um, okay, my third draft pick. It's going to be the architect, Seth Rollins. Nice, so nice. Seth freaking Rollins. Yep. Uh, right, who's like take next? Well, I've got AJ Styles. I might as well take, uh, uh, let's say um, Gallows. Let's say Gallows, Luke Gallows. you taking Luke Gallows? Yeah, I'll take Luke Gallows. Okay. The second is love. I think we'll be uh, together, hopefully. Okay, and fair enough. Unless you pick uh, the one, Carl Anson. <laughs> I'm going to take... I'm going to call up from NXT. Okay. And I'm going to bring in Finn Balor. Damn, I wanted him. Damn it. Yeah! I wanted him to join the club. Never mind. That's fine. Because I'll take the other club member, uh, Carl Anderson. Okay. What so, number will be up to here? Uh, Dubois. Uh, what count was it? Five. Five. Okay. Yeah. So my fifth draft pick is going to be Cesaro. Nice. It's a sick man. Cesaro. Cesaro. Cesaro section on Raw every Monday. Nice. What we'll do is we'll compare our picks to the picks in real life. Yeah, okay. Next week. Good plan. Um, you did Seth Rollins, didn't you? So I will take... Uh, I'll take Xavier Woods. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to pick for my sixth... This is my sixth pick, isn't it? Mm-hmm. My sixth pick. I'm going to have Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt, Nice. Good pick. Thank you. Um, I'll stick with New Day and I'll pick uh, Big E. Big E Langston. Formerly Big E Langston. Now just I know. Where's his, <laughs> the surnames don't exist when you come up from NXT. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Either your first name or your surname is gone. Yeah. It's like Cesaro used to have a first name. Yeah, they used Antonio, wasn't it? Yeah. So this is my seventh pick. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm going to have Big Cass. Big Cass, nice. Soft. Soft. They're so totally over. I'm most over people on earth. And I'll take the final uh, uh, New Day member. I'll take Kofi Kingston. Right, okay. Do Making you... me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see the New Day being split up in the draft? No, absolutely not. No? Can't happen. You no still way. think there's too much stock in New Day for them to do that? There'll be so much money and merch and stuff. There's no way that happen. Right, okay, fair enough. I don't know if it's over team in like years, decades. <laughs> Yeah. Um, what will be on eight? Uh, two, three, four, five. Yeah, mate. I'm going to take Rusev. Rusev, match guy. The current United States heavyweight champion. Good choice. Uh, how are you then? In that case, I'll take The Miz. Ah, see, I, I, I was going to go with The Miz, but I thought Rusev would be... Uh, yeah. It'd have more, it's got more longevity going forward, I think. I think you're right, yeah. It's a good choice. Yeah. And I'm going to say that movie's coming to be The Miz. Be packaged. <laughs> are they coming as a as a duo? I know the Miz was sort of talking to his lawyers on Raw about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think they will. I think they'll split them up. Okay, so that'll be your ninth choice. My ninth choice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Big Cass have his tag team partner. So I'm gonna have Enzo. Okay, good choice. Oh, Enzo, I'm away. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm gonna go into the women's division now. I'm gonna take Shasta Banks. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that is a good the one. Boss. Um, I'm not going to dive into the women's division yet. Okay, the divas, divas. Um, yeah. I'm going to take Randy Orton. Randy Orton, Randy Orton, Randy Orton, <laughs> or and raging Andy Organ. <laughs> yeah, as Five Star Wrestling, Regenesis. 
awesome. Good choice. Thank I enjoyed you. it so far. So um, we've, uh, we've got ten each so far, haven't we? Uh, yes. Okay, this is good. So ten more, and then we'll leave the rest to WWE.com. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so I'll say... Uh, who I tightly suspect will be just as a uh, tag team partner at Battleground. And dip into NXT and take Bailey. Ah, hey, nice. We put some Bailey. I think Bailey's definitely going to come up. Yeah. Um, so you, I do think it. she'll be a partner. It'd be interesting to see if that is announced during the draft. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Could be. Or whether they save it for Battleground. Because obviously that is not next week, not this weekend, but the weekend after, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, I'm going to have, I'm going to take the women's champion. I'm going to have Charlotte on Raw. Okay, nice. Uh, ooh, what I got next? You've taken Owens, you've taken Wyatt. Um, I'll take Sami Zayn. Ah, uh, good, because this splits up Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. It does. It needs to happen. It definitely needs to happen. That feud should end at Battleground. Yeah. And Not that I don't enjoy wasn't it Wrestle. So oh, of course, yeah. Amazing. Have you seen that Fight Forever t-shirt that they've got out? I haven't actually, no. Yeah, it's like a half of their face, and it just says Fight Forever underneath. Awesome. It's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. I won't buy one, but still. <laughs> um, What's this, my 11th draft pick? I think so. Ooh, it's a tough one. Uh, I'm going to take Seamus. Seamus, okay. I still have faith in Seamus. Okay. A little. I like Seamus, it's fine. Yeah, sure. Ooh, I got next. Ah, you know what? I'll take Tyler Breeze. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'll take Tyler, god damn it. I'm gonna go for my twelfth draft pick is gonna be Alberto Del Rio. Alberto Because I think that's a str- I I I'm I feel like I'm building a quite a strong lineup of wrestlers here. You are, yeah. I think both are. Uh, since I've got Tyler Breeze, I might as well take his tag team partner. I'll take Fandango. Uh, Fandango. Have you said it? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it the other way around? Like, Fandango. I don't even know. Okay. Well, possibly. <laughs> yeah, who knows. We so, uh, go together. So you're going for the tag teams here? Pretty much, yeah. Um, New Day versus the Wyatts has been announced for Battleground, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it is going to be for the tag team championship. So, ah, totally. And it is going to be a six man match. Cool. So you were correct. I, I was, was right. incorrect. I should have made a bet on that. Damn. You should have, yeah. <laughs> Who to take next? Who do I hold a lot of stock in on Raw? You know, I'm going to I'm gonna make Darren Young great again. I'm going to have okay. Darren Young on Raw. Nice. It's time to make Darren Young great again. Apparently so. Um, mm, I won't go back into any seats yet. Um, uh... You know what? You we turn on SmackDown, so I'll take him uh with SmackDown now. Um I'll take uh, Adrian Neville. Or just Neville. Yeah, his first name left him it was it was left in NXT. <laughs> yeah, wasn't it? Nah. Nah. <laughs> Mighty uh, Mouse. Okay, this is tough. Um uh, I'm gonna take Chris Jericho. Nice. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. What number are we on here? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. So this is your 15th draft pick now? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's, no, it's your 16th, sorry. It's, well, we're on our 16th already? Yeah. Right, okay. I think. Uh, I'll leave you with the whites. Um, oh, I suppose someone to take him. I'll take Roman Reigns, I guess. <laughs> I can't believe none of us have drafted Roman Reigns until now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll take Reigns. He, yeah. You're right about my list, but I'll take him. <laughs> I'm going to take Apollo Crews. Nice. That's a good one. I didn't think of him. It's a good pick. Thank you. Um, I'll take I'll take uh, Baron Corbin. Ah, it was going to be my next one. What was it? All right. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, it's getting tough now because we, we, we are literally whittling down. It's a good job we only opted for 20 here because we're going to be <laughs> scraping the barrel. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Hmm. I'm going to... 
I'm gonna bring up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for Zack Ryder. Okay. Woo woo woo. What number is that? Uh, hold on. Let's wait to have it down. Zack Ryder. Let's count really easily. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. Okay. So I'm on my 18th now. So three more each. Okay. Um, Endurance Gas. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to come up from, from NXT. I think. Wait, we're on the side of Endurance Gas. You had Endurance Gas. Never mind, I won't do that. I was going to be Carmella, but I'll leave that to war. Um, so that's what makes sense. I'll take Dolph Ziggler. Okay. Just because mm-hmm. I'm going to dip into NXT okay and this is something that I think is going to happen mm-hmm. so I'm going to take Mojo Rawley for Raw Ooh, okay. I'm going to form the hype bros with Zack Ryder oh god he ain't hype he ain't hype he didn't get hype he stays hype yeah Mojo's been okay the last few weeks on NXT to be honest yeah he's alright yeah he's a big guy he's a big guy <laughs> um you ask Gabe the around now no offence Oh no, you can not just stuff you in there. I'll take I'll take Paige. Ah, okay. The Divas Divas. I'm going back into NXT. Okay. And I'm taking Chad Gable. Gable, 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 Jordan. Jordan, Jordan. <laughs> nice. So we lost counting one. <laughs> Got one more left each. Yep, you're right. Um Alright. Who else? Needs to be a good one. Uh, oh no, so many. Um, <laughs> Look at the concentration on your face. I know, man. Right? Like I'm doing my list, and it's like, oh, we've got all the good ones. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Breeze and Nango. You've got Bray Wyatt. Uh, Bailey, you already said. Sasha Banks. You've got Cena. Kofi Biggie. Um, I'll take Natalia. Okay. Getting the women's division on my on my team on my okay. side, even though you've got the women's champion. Yeah, well, the everyone else is on that spectrum. That's there. fine. I mean, I'm sure WWE.com will sort some sort some divas into uh, in, uh, onto my show. Yeah, I'm sure. And I'm uh, gonna have to pick Chad Gable's tag team partner Jason Jordan from NXT. Ah, wait, wait. So I've got American Alpha, the Hype Bros. Nice. <laughs> They're truly the best. Uh... And Enzo and Cass on Raw. Very good. Very good. Got a nice uh, split, split of uh, tag teams and all. Yeah. France. It's good. So, what have you got? So, let, read them out. So, who have you got on... on? So, read out mine first. Who have I got on Raw? Okay. So, you have picked... Let's find out again. You've got John Cena, Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Cesaro, Bray Wyatt, Big Cass, Rusev, Enzo More, uh, Randy Orton, Charlotte, Seamus, Alberto De Rio, Devin Young, Jericho, Apollo Crews, Zack Ryder, Mojo Rowley, uh, and Gabriel Jordan. I think that's very strong. It's very strong. It's very good indeed. Because uh, you could have some very interesting matchups there. Definitely, yeah. What's interesting here is I don't think it's going to be too far removed from what it actually is. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Um, I do think Finn Balor will be on whatever wherever the club ends up so they can put them together when he does debut. Okay. Uh, as my uh, estimate. Well, the thing but, is with the club, they are heels. They are. Uh, and I don't think there's any way that Finn Balor can be a heel right now. He's yeah. going to shift way too much merch. Yeah, that's true. So I think he could go against the club. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Definitely a lot of possibilities there. Uh, and who have you got? I'm excited to find out. Um, me, I've got Dean Ambrose, Brock Lesnar, Luke Gallows, Kyle Anderson, AJ Styles, Terry Woods, Big E, Kobe Kingston, The Miz, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Sami Zayn, Tyler Breeze, Fandango, Neville, uh, Roman Reigns, lol, Corbin, Ziggler, <laughs> Page, and Natalia. Very mixed. Very mixed, yes. Okay, so you've got, you know, the the women's division mainly on yours. Obviously, I've got the women's champion. Yeah. But I think she'll flip between both shows anyway. Probably, yeah. That makes sense. Um, same as the WWE champion, whoever that may be. It'd probably mm. be Dean Ambrose. Yep, yep. So um, tag teams. But I, don't, I think, you know, the that core that we've got there, I don't think that's going to be too far removed from what it is actually going to be. I mean, if you've got any predictions as to what you think is actually going to happen... Um, yeah, I think I think the WWE champion will be on SmackDown initially, just because I want people to more people to get. Uh, so you don't think they're gonna, there's going to be two champions? I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't want there to be because it kind of ruined uh, the World Heavyweight Championship towards the end of that last uh, little bit. But if if they're gonna 
they are if the aim is to have this going long term, mm. then does it make sense to have two championships, especially if they're going to have brand centric views? Yeah, you're right. I don't know. You're, you're right. But they probably have some something. Whether it be the heavy heavy the heavyweight championship or not, I don't know. Um, we'll see. I think we should do some draft predictions and add them to our ongoing okay. bet. We can do that. Okay. I think there is going to be two championships, two heavyweight championships. Okay. I think there has to be. Because NXT stands alone as its own brand with its own heavyweight championship. Um, if you know SmackDown is going to be its own thing, then I think it also needs its own identity and its own championship. Okay, makes sense. Um, I'll say no and I'll say that there's going to just be the one championship be able to switch between both shows okay it was in between the, both, the two um, and yeah I think that makes sense sure um, I think that hmm, you see it's a tough thing because nobody really knows what's going to happen yeah you know definitely <laughs> and it's which is fine because it adds a bit of excitement to it for a for a change, and there hasn't been that in a while. Mm, that's true. Mm, it'd be interesting to see if the brand centric pay per views are real. Yeah, there hasn't been anything announced just yet. Have you got any predictions that you want to throw out there? I'm just trying to think. Um, I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> um, it's, like I said, it's hard to say what's going to happen. What's what's going to change and what's not going to change. Mm. So, we'll, we'll stick with the two champs thing for now. We've got to think of any more we'll have next week. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Uh, another time. prediction I'm going to make is I think that okay. one of uh, either Raw or SmackDown is going to change its stage set. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably agree with that, actually. Mm. Probably makes sense. Or how about, do you think um, the New Day or any other tag team will break up um, during this? Um... For Bray's sake, I think they should break the Wyatt family up. Okay, interesting. Um, because you could have, if you really had to, you could have Rowan and Strowman on on either Raw or SmackDown and then Wyatt on either Raw or SmackDown. Makes sense. Um, New Day, no. No, I don't think so either. Um, but I'll say no with, with the wide split. So we'll add that to the as well. Okay, so you're not, think, you're not thinking any tag teams are going to split up? Um I don't, but maybe I don't know maybe like Archer and Goldust or something Some, something shit that about. Then. exactly yeah okay but uh, yeah other than that I don't think so right so yeah I have the two predictions and um, yeah, yeah I think that'd be about it for that yeah I mean I'm really interested to see where it goes yeah me too I'm interested to see who's going to be Raw GM me too is Triple H really wanting to be on TV every week hmm Good question. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, there's so many... I'm excited, though. I am very excited. Very, very excited. It's really excited I've been for wrestling in uh, quite a while, I think. Yes, yeah, same. Same. But it needs to change. We we always we say this all the time. It just <laughs> desperately needs to change. Yeah, we say it for months. At this point. Yeah. So, it's, it's definitely a good thing that they're doing it. Freshens it up Absolutely. and gives us something to look forward to. I mean, it's going to be a lot of wrestling to take in next week. Mm-hmm. Uh, three hours of Raw, which is already fairly tough, but yeah. at least we get the GM announcement and a championship match. Yep. So that's cool. That's good. And SmackDown is going to be great. Yes. We'll have to uh, go to watch SmackDown and give our thoughts on it on the podcast because we exactly. before we got it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> very, very true. So um, it's an exciting time to be a wrestling fan. I just hope to God that it lives up to the hype. I hope so. It and we're not going to sit here next week and go, that ain't hype. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't blow it, WWE. Yeah, this is your one chance to make to make it relevant again. Yeah, and I'm um, also excited to see um, who comes back, if anybody. Yeah, yeah. If we get some surprises in the draft, because obviously, you know, in our fantasy draft, we've not sort of taken into account wrestlers that could be returning or uh, old, you know, like you know, I mean, like old wrestlers. Yeah, yeah, like from days gone by. Hmm. Interesting. Is T- is uh, Jeff Hardy still contracted to TNA, or so. has he been deleted? <laughs> Deleted. I think it's still with <laughs> TNA for now. Okay. I'll double check actually. We've got a couple of sets. Um, Randy Orton's going to be a battleground. Yep. He's going to be on the highlight reel. Yep. So, <laughs> with Jeff Hardy, one of the first results. Is Steph Hardy's still alive? Yep, he's still alive, isn't it? Don't worry. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Google's such a wonderful thing. It is. 
Yeah. This Randy Orton thing's been handled so poorly. It has. It's like, hey, remember this guy? But he's going to fight Brock Lesnar now. It was like, yeah, okay, why? Yeah. Why, why, why? Yeah, why, why is this happening? Um, why is he just going to be turning up a battleground on the highlight reel? What's he actually going to say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They should have brought him back in the draft and then Randy Orton on, you know, they should have, because I imagine Brock will be on SmackDown. Oh yeah. And they should have had the two of them face off at that point and then set the feud up <laughs> because now it's just a mess. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm excited for NXT this week. Yeah, I am. What time is it for uh, NXT? Shinsuke versus Finn Balor. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. And obviously NXT is a bit up in the air because there's no tapings, no further tapings. Oh, right, so okay. next week's NXT is a is a mystery right now Ooh. because uh, we don't know what's going to happen, which is good. Yeah, very good. Because it, it leads to intrigue, unless they're obviously recording them later on this week and that theory is straight out the window. Yeah, we'll see. But <laughs> the Cruiserweight Classic mm. starts tonight on the WWE Network. That could be very good. Did you watch Bracketology last week? I did, yes. It was good. Very good. Very good program. Uh, I love the sports style presentation that they're going for with it. Yep. Uh, and I think Mauro Ronaldo and Daniel Bryan are a very great, a very good. They have very good chemistry as yep. a as a commentary team. Absolutely, uh, it's very good um, on commentary too. Um, all the yeah, his analysis thing. was good of <laughs> yeah. the uh, the guys that are going to be in it. And what's going to be awesome is you know they're going to actually call the moves. I would imagine you know they're not going to yeah, sort yeah, of. You know, oh, make things up like Michael Calder's. That Mission Echo Driver when it's like a, like a power slam, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Lose on the bomb. When it's like a suplex. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, come on, guys. So I think we're going to get, I think it's going to be excellent. I'm so excited to watch it. Yeah, me too. A lot of good names in there. I'm excited. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So it's an exciting time to be a wrestling fan. Uh, next week is going to be a very wrestling filled podcast, especially if gaming news continues to dry up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like it is sort of in the last couple of weeks yeah seriously but um, I can't I'm, I'm looking forward to recording next week's podcast already because yeah, we're going to have a lot to talk about and a lot to give our opinion on absolutely going to be good it is going to be very very good it's going to be good so um, are you off to stream until dawn now uh, yes what time uh, yes so I'll go home and uh, yeah more, more until dawn excellent more good stuff let's see what else I can kill <laughs> <laughs> I'll, um, I'll, I'll kind of end it on different as well because uh, last time dinner part when it's like two bus doors coming down with Ashley and mm. other dude um, I didn't do anything I just left it I thought I'm going to leave it but I know there's a way to save everyone Yeah. so maybe we'll just leave it they'll stop but the way he worded it as well he said whoever is left alive uh, will get to walk away so I thought well we're both left alive yeah theory so, <laughs> and they like screaming to black so we didn't show them actually dying so I don't know cliffhanger Oh, right, okay, did you do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I, when, when it got to that point for me, I made a choice. Ah, right. Interesting. So, I'm excited to see what happens there. I'll probably both be dead. No, we won't be uh, wasted my uh, my life on that, but all their lives. Is that where you left it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, left with that. The screen, oh. the screen fades to black there and, like, and start the next chapter. And so I had to stream there. So, like, right, okay. Good, good thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's it for episode 21 of the Sunny and Finn show. Yes, yes. Uh, the driest gaming news episode we've had yet pretty much I think a lot of my watch numbers but <laughs> yeah a lot of numbers if you understood them congratulations <laughs> um, but yeah that's it for now please do subscribe to our podcast on iTunes and follow us on SoundCloud and you can listen to us on any Android device the voice the voice the voice get the voices out <laughs> <laughs> any device that you may have on any podcast service that you may use the <laughs> voice um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel go like our videos go watch Finn kill everybody on Until Dawn mm -hmm. go watch me not get a title shot on <laughs> WWE 2K16 yeah. and watch me trample all over Japan with Godzilla <laughs> uh, but for now I'm Sonny and I'm Finn and this has been the Sonny and Finn show look out for what happened NXT every Friday and this every single Saturday yep goodbye guys thank you much goodbye bye